Hello everyone and welcome to the Made a Minute. I know it's been a while since I've spoken to all of you, but I'm hopeful that everyone is doing well since we've been in a state of quarantine for approximately 12 weeks. Today I'm going to give you a couple of updates regarding the coronavirus as well as to offer some suggestions about safety precautions during the warm weather. June 3rd, Cuomo announced that Saratoga County restaurants can reopen their doors for outdoor seating for the first time in three months. But all workers must continue to wear face masks, and customers must wear face masks when they aren't seated at their table. If you can believe it, you can now actually leave your home to dine, but must still follow social distancing guidelines. Cuomo expands the criteria needed to receive coronavirus testing to all those who were at the George Floyd protest. He says that all protesters should assume that they have been exposed to COVID-19 and get tested accordingly. Also, beaches, public pools, and marinas are officially open. If you plan on visiting one of these places this summer, be sure to maintain social distancing procedures. Even though the weather is warm, the COVID-19 crisis is not over yet. So please stay safe. Cancer affects 5 million people in the United States every year. To avoid getting this condition, please be sure to use sunscreen and reapply about every two hours. I know that people love to get a tan, but that can cause skin cancer, sunburns, and most importantly, wrinkles. People often don't use enough sunscreen for it to be effective. According to the CDC, a shot glass full of sunscreen should be used for the entire body and about half a teaspoon for the face. So keeping this in mind, use more sunscreen than you think that you need. What you think may not be enough. People often wonder which SPF sunscreen is best to use. The higher the SPF number, the more ultraviolet rays are blocked from affecting the skin. SPF 30 protects the skin from approximately 97% of UV radiation, but no sunscreen is capable of stopping 100% of the UV rays. While sunscreen on its own can be protective, one will be more safe if they combine the sunscreen with staying in the shade, covering up with clothing, wearing a broad brimmed hat, and wearing sunglasses. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Made a Minute. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please stay safe out there and have a great day.